I would like to start with telling you a story about Sam. Uh, Sam is a student at the GO Project. He's been with us for a number of years. Um, he just finished his sixth grade. GO Project generally only serves kids up until the summer of their fifth grade. We offered him an additional year with the GO Project because he needed so much more academic and social emotional support in order to be ready and succeed in middle school. Sam is in a 12 to 1 to 1 setting. He hardly says anything when you speak with him. He's one of the kids who in sixth grade, normally they're kind of loud and rowdy and a little bit obnoxious, having taught sixth grade myself. He's not one of those kids. He's one of the kids who's sitting there and has kind of like a flat affect and you're trying to figure out what is he thinking? What is he feeling? What makes him tick? What does he like? What does he dislike? And he doesn't interact so much with his peers, much less adults. And so the staff at GO decided that Sam would be a really great candidate for our mentoring program, which we piloted last year. And so Sam came in to the mentoring program, and one day I came in to observe the program, and I saw Sam with his mentor and a group of the students doing a cooperative game with a parachute. And I see him yelling the names of kids and calling out numbers. This is Sam who didn't say anything. He would make one word answers and he's sitting there yelling and calling, calling people out and being a role model for the other kids in the group. A couple of weeks later, the mentor came up to me and he said, I had an interaction with Sam that was a little bit funny. He was borderline confrontational with me. <laughs> and I was like, Sam? <laughs> Sam was confrontational? And who would have thought that a confrontation with a sixth grader would be something that we would want to see, right? But this was a huge accomplishment for this particular child because in a short period of time, he was able to feel comfortable enough to take risks and talk back. And so that is something that the mentoring program really allowed us to be able to provide kids that we wouldn't have been able to if we were just in an academic environment like many of our programs at GO are. Hi Martin, so you're the director of programs at the GO Project. What is the GO Project? So the GO Project is an organization that provides academic and social emotional supports for at-risk elementary school students. All of our kids go to public schools south of 14th Street and they have been identified by their public schools as needing a boost in their confidence and a boost in their academics as well. And so we provide year-round programming through a five-week summer program and a 22-day Saturday tutorial program. And then over the last year we have started a pilot weekday tutoring program and a mentoring program as well. And we use, we have partnerships with um, independent schools and use independent schools space and resources to be able to provide programming for public school students. Great. And so you graduated from the Mentoring Supervisor Certificate program back in the fall of 2008. Why, why did you decide to enroll in that program? So our executive director had showed me the brochure and was really interested in me participating in the program because we always used to say that our Saturday tutorial program was a mentorship program. And so it was interesting because I had just come on um, to the GO Project and was not only supervising programs but also in charge of overseeing the volunteer program and training them. And so they were really interested at looking at how we can kind of expand our services um, to support a mentoring program. And so being able to participate in the Mentorship Supervisor Certificate Program was a really fantastic opportunity for me to not only revamp the programs that we had for our current volunteers, but also think about expanding our services to include a mentoring program. Great. And most recently, so after you took the certificate program, you were actually one of nine organizations, nine of one of nine mentoring supervisor certificate program graduates to participate in a new initiative of the training center, the mentoring program coaching, yeah. which was designed to provide really in-depth targeted technical assistance to graduates of the certificate program to help them really implement and really make that, that step forward. So tell, us, tell me a little bit about your, uh, your experience in, in yes. OCC. Yeah, it was a fantastic opportunity. Um, so I worked really closely with Kate and she was able to provide us bi-weekly um, 
phone calls and, and in-person interview, in-person uh, meetings so that that way we could really develop goals that are realistic and attainable for our program. Since we didn't have a mentoring program yet, starting one from the ground up, it was very daunting. It was a really kind of overwhelming experience. And so being able to have one-on-one -on -one guidance and have her come to the organization and learn about our organization's mission and then be able to develop a program that uses what we the infrastructure that we've already created and be able to expand it to create a new program that provides services for more kids um, was a fantastic opportunity. So, you know, it really opened a lot of doors to be able to see other programs and really be able to think about how to implement the best practices I learned in the mentorship super, supervisor certificate program um, in a way that was meaningful to our organization. You are all passionate educators. You're committed to changing the lives of youth who need a level of support that differs from what they might be getting at home or at school. Over the last few weeks, you've listened and you've shared ideas, you've bounced ideas off of one another, you've talked about best practices. You've grappled with the question, what does it take to make an effective and strong mentoring program? You've built a network that really helps you be able to develop your skills, develop your organizations, and ultimately impact the quality of the programs and the kids that you're serving. That network is critical to hold on to. That network is what's going to strengthen your programs. That network is, are the people that you're going to be able to tap into when you don't know the answer, when you don't know whether or not a volunteer should be a mentor, whether or, not you, whether or not your processes make sense. Enhancing your programs is a group effort. It's a collaboration. And you've been part of a think tank in a really small period of time that helps you be able to share ideas in order to enhance your programs and improve the quality of services for kids like Sam.